Hello everyone, I'm Dinesha Jayasekara, a PhD graduate at Monash University. Currently, I work as a geotechnical engineer at Becca Private Limited. Today, I'm going to talk about my research I've conducted during my PhD candidature under the supervision of Professor Ranjit Patigama. A little bit about my background. I did my BSc at University of Rohuna in Sri Lanka, specialized in civil and environmental engineering back in 2017 with the first class honors degree, ranking as first out of my engineering batch. After that, in 2017, I was offered the opportunity to directly commence my PhD under the supervision of Professor Ranjit Pathegama at Monash University in Australia. My PhD research topic is Evaluation of Long-Term Stability of Caprock Sealing under Deep Saline Carbon Dioxide Sequestration Environment, which mainly targets on bringing the global energy system to net zero emissions. My PhD is aimed to investigate the long-term behavior of geological formations under carbon dioxide sequestration environment in order to ensure safe carbon dioxide storage. Carbon dioxide sequestration in geological formations has been identified as one of the best strategies to reduce carbon dioxide emissions from both power generations and industrial production to mitigate climate change and reach global net zero emissions. And also, carbon dioxide sequestration technique can be retrofitted to existing power and industrial plants which could otherwise still emit 8 billion tons of carbon dioxide in 2050. There are different geological formations such as unminable coal beds, deep saline aquifers and depleted oil or gas reservoirs. Among them, Deep saline aquifers play a dominant role in carbon dioxide sequestration due to their high storage capacity, extensive availability, and easy accessibility. Now let's see the procedure of carbon dioxide sequestration in deep saline aquifers. First, carbon dioxide is injected into the reservoir rock through injection well. Reservoir rock is a permeable rock made up of sandstone filled with brine. The depth of aquifers lie below 800 meters. Therefore, the injected carbon dioxide remains in supercritical phase. Since supercritical carbon dioxide density and viscosity is less than brine density and viscosity, the injected carbon dioxide tries to move upward direction. It is prevented by the cap rock, an impermeable seal made up of shale, mudstone, sealstone, or clay stone. Now let's see why caprock is important. It prevents back migration of injected supercritical carbon dioxide, prevent ground heave, avoids contamination of carbon dioxide with fresh underground water, avoids seismic events, and contributes to mineral trapping. However, one of the major concerns with deep saline carbon dioxide sequestration at geological time scales is the back migration of injected carbon dioxide through the cap rock due to hydrochemical mechanical variations with time. During my PhD, I have researched the possible techniques that can be followed during carbon dioxide sequestration to reduce the risks related to leakage of carbon dioxide by investigating both short and long term hydrochemical mechanical behavior of different types of cap rocks obtained from real aquifers in Australia. Based on my PhD research work, I have published several journal articles in high quality and internationally recognized journals. If you are interested in my research, please find these journal article topics. Actually, I was very lucky to complete my PhD under the supervision of Professor Ranjit Pathegama in 3G Deep Group at Monash University. 
He provides his continuous support, inspiration and enthusiastic supervision throughout every student's candidature. His advice, ideas and concepts made a remarkable influence on our research works. In addition, the knowledge sharing and friendly environment within the 3G Deep Group enabled me to work effectively and efficiently during my PhD research. And also, 3G Deep Group has its own unique experimental facilities in the 3G Deep Research Laboratory to conduct advanced research studies. It covers meso, macro and micro scale research facilities. So it was very convenient for me to conduct laboratory research studies during my PhD. Thank you very much 3G Deep Research Group for your support, guidance and encouragement during my research career.